Optimus begins to speak. Where are called them, but still beloved? Anomaly, they nada. Let's start this episode by checking out the moon with the gold. Got me on the Artemis line. Awesome, this is where we wanted to go anyway, so we might as well continue with the Artemis line. We are now in a leap in the dark. That's the chapter of the Artemis line. And there's our one fauna, more than a quarter million for that. All right, 250 nanites. Okay, now let's find our location. Journey milestone accomplished. Classifier discovered all species on eight planets, and I have eight stars. So you get a milestone for each planet you complete. I suspect that is where we need to go. Boegu's Restless Sleep. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps. Some gateway through which I'll find Artemis. But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story. A vision. It is already burning itself into my eyes. The Traveler, Arrival. The Traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through the lonely cosmos, they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens, no Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal. Though they did not know how to step through, they did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the price of the final truth. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient Traveler. I see glyphs in my mind part of the code I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Escape or destroy the sentinels. Glyph sets recovered one of three. Really?
Signal flares erupted all over the surface of this planet. If I trace them, I might uncover the secrets of the portal. All right, let's use C. Let's go follow that. One more creature to get on this planet. So let's see what I have left. Rare ground, always active. All right. As I approach the structure, I feel that same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I have ever known. I activate. The Traveler, Sin. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of sentinels, the traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of omnipotence. The traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life. They did not wish to die before they saw them all. And the Atlas answered, one eight four four six seven four four zero seven three seven zero nine five five one six one six planets more than could be seen in any lifetime it was impossible to explore the universe before the traveler died witness glyphs i am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler i see the glyphs in my mind another piece of the code I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels. Yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. A leap in the dark, locate the final glyph set. Arrive in 1025, let's go there. some cactus. I'm sure we'll need this later for the agricultural quest on the expanding the base. There's usually three of these around this type of structure.
that would be the one more that we need. Over a quarter million for that. Seven of seven species. All right, 1,750 nanites. Journey milestone accomplished. Zoologists discovered all species on nine planets. That's nine stars. Memories of Corsusti Utbo. Utbo. Everything here is tinted with the same red, the same unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope this structure holds the final glyphs, that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. Activate. The Traveler, a purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow. Each would be endowed with the same noble soul, each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. The first traveler rejected the gift of the Atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see it all? If you were alone, if you would one day die? The first traveler cursed the Atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it will be for the travelers to witness. Witness glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. Okay, now next I'll need to locate and activate a portal. A leap in the dark, activate a portal. Signal flares erupted all over the surface of this planet when the sentinels attacked. If I trace them, I might uncover the secrets of the portals. Now I'm on locate and activate a portal. The ancient monuments have supplied a series of glyphs. Perhaps they hold the key to opening a portal. I used C to scan and it gave me another location, so we'll go there. Oh. I land right there. Let's check this out. The operations terminal reveals an automated plea for help. A clear pattern emerges within the white noise hissing from the screen. If I can work out what comes next, I could potentially lock down the distressed craft's location. 2345 so if you double 23, it's 46, minus 1 is 45. If you double 45 minus 1, that's 89. Therefore, I will double 177 and then minus 1. Which would be 2, I think, um, 353. Distress signal coordinates discovered. Okay, that's something we'll need to do. So that's a nice find. All right, let's talk to this guy here. Where are you at? All right, the trade envoy says, the air around the beak life form smells foul. It seeps into my exosuit and makes me gag. 
Noticing my expression, the trader pecks at an element they carry. They break the substance into pieces, then swallow each whole. Friend, despair. Get trader. Get and? There is a deep gurgle and the gek emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes their empty hands and beams at me with pleasure. Um, I will thank with catalyst, sodium. No, actually, they tend to like metal. No? Yeah, we'll do the catalyst, 10 sodium. The trader nods a curt, thank you. They decline to eat my gift, and the scent washes away. My senses return to a dull neutrality. I should have given him something else. All right, let's um, let's head for the ley line source. Journey milestone accomplished. Famous met 40 aliens. That's with five stars. Roughly eight aliens per star. Okay, I'll head that way. Roughly 658 units. Alright, let's land near this and mine that and then look for where we're going. Could have killed me. Anomaly confirmed. Breach. 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 I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought, an idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am making a choice. A leap of faith that somewhere, out there, in the dark, I will find who I am meant to be. I input the glyphs. I step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart, the call towards a deeper truth. This will, this will be the start of everything. This doesn't list us as being anywhere. Hostile system. Units received. Units received. Let's see if we can get that one red dot while we're here. A one of eight. Atlas protocol initiated sixteen, 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 sixteen.
Journey milestone accomplished. Polyglot learned 80 words. That's with eight stars. So I'm guessing 10 words per star. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. Um, I, we know this is the atlas. Let's say hello. Hello world. Just like a, your first computer program. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks, time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends, the interface grows still and silent. It awaits a command. Um, I'll perform diagnostic. It has been, I don't know, what is that? One trillion, nine hundred forty-six billion, two hundred eighteen million, nine hundred and twenty-one thousand, two hundred twenty-one years since last diagnostic. Sixty-four percent of worlds operating within expected parameters. 2,611,384 actionable observations awaiting analysis. Subroutine, Sentinel. Status, error, null value. Subroutine, glass. Status, operational, 4,182 breach attempts. Subroutine, traveler, status, operational, 458 critical error warnings. Exo mine structural integrity compromised. Immediate repairs required. Initiate personality interface. Sure, why not? Yes. Traveler. Reality fades, everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it speaks to me. The atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them. But something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... I don't know, I'll say scream. I try to scream, but I have no mouth, no form. First contact. Notice I found the one creature on the planet. F to upload. And 250 to complete. We don't want to miss that opportunity. Journey milestone accomplished. Encyclopedia discovered all species on 10 planets. That's 10 stars. The um, coordinates for this. There you go. Lower left hand corner. I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine. 
Not strong enough to resist, it identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? Well, I was hoping to rescue Artemis. Is that true, or is it just a lie I tell myself? The kind of thought a noble person might have. Artemis was in need of assistance, but did I really risk my life just for them? There is something more, some other yearning. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. Okay, anomaly signal detec detected. I do XF. You are not X alone. The signal appears to be coming from this very system using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have? And transmission. Oh, it says my starship is not damaged. another technology slot. Photon cannon module. Damage 263. Damage now 268. A class, not bad. All right, there's a traveler. We get glyphs from travelers. I approach the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Hmm, unexpected. Hello, my new friend. What business would you have with me? The life form tries to shake my hand, but pauses as we phase through one another. They are fascinated by the encounter, claiming to be a traveler. It is clear they come from a very different region of space. They have never heard of the Gek, Viking, Corvax, or any of the sites I have encountered. They wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation. All right, I ask him about the Atlas. I ask whether the traveler has ever encountered or heard of an entity known as Atlas. The traveler smiles, claiming they have not. I attempt to continue the conversation, but they bring it to an end. As I go, they grab my hand, warning me not to go to the center. They warn me not to listen. All right, now speak to him again. And you'll give him 100 nanites. My friends, what happened to my friends? Please, I need to leave this place. Return to the fleet. There is so little time. I give him 100 nanites. Ask where they came from. Traveler Seuss. I wonder if that's Dr. Seuss offers directions to a place of interest. Okay, that would be his grave where we can get a glyph and an upgrade. All right, let's go to the anomaly first.
All right, let's expand the cargo area, 120,000. All right, Entity Nada says, Traveler Entity, it has been some time. Polo has missed you. So I explained the portal. I explained my journey through the portal, my vision of the strange world on the other side, how I awoke a long way from my ship. Nada looks at me with concern. Traveler, your journey was longer, you might realize. Portals have much in common with our home. Their travel is anomalous. But you are unharmed, yes? You feel complete. You feel not crimson. I confirm. Nada is pleased. Old portals are strange, but so is our home. Polo is clever. Atlas false entity cannot see us. Polo uses Atlas falsity against themselves. I receive nanites and I receive quicksilver. All right, let's get the directions to, um, let's just continue with the Atlas, although I'm not going to do that quite now, but since he's here, I might as well um, ask, if, ask for Atlas station coordinates. So in the log, let's move this to a leap in the dark. All right, usually if I do C for scan, it'll pop up the red and white item. There it goes. Our cobalt is at, see, this goes on the plane, so does this, over 5,000 cobalt, nice, okay, 349. looking to fight right now. I'm working on something else. See how much that one thing gives me? Ah, the grave. Artemis, unknown grave. I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis, but there is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. I ask if he's all right. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu, as if I'd been here before, right at this very moment. I'll ask where they are. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came, zzz, watch closely, gzz, machines, murders, gzz, against the, gzz. The voice falls silent, the projection looks at me, something is very wrong. 
I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I have received begins to speak. Where are called them, but still beloved? Anomaly, they gz, nada, gz, polo watching us, gz, tracking, gz, mistake, gz, abandoned, but it wasn't. Through the portal, gz, please don't trust, gz, gz, I'm afraid, aren't, gz, I comfort Artemis. The projection fizzles away to mere static. This echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitch data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. Okay. My log has been updated. Now it's the first traveler. Know the stranger. Artemis is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I found a strange fragment in a cave. An artifact. A projection of Artemis. But it was just data trapped in a loop. It had no understanding of who or where it was. I need to contact Apollo and let them know what has happened. So I'll need to go to a hollow terminus. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, um, let's go find that grave, that other grave. Let's go visit it. Awakened happened to me. I saw myself gzz, told them I would continue. Gzz, root of war and gzz, sentinels have dreamt of it. Gzz, red glow, its vast perfection. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Extract the glyph and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen tra traveler. I get the memory fragment and I get a glyph. Okay, in the next episode, I plan to continue with the Atlas path. Um, later we'll come back to the Artemis line. Um, thank you for watching.